Hey guys, welcome to Easy Learning Economics. I'm Dr. Caval. In the previous lecture, we learned that what is economic development, and later on, we learned that what is economic growth. In this lecture, we shall learn that what is the difference between economic growth and economic development in detail. Economic development is a quantitative and qualitative as well as multidimensional measure, whereas economic growth is quantitative measure and single dimensional because economic growth means the increase in output over a sustained period of time, whereas economic development means innovative changes and increase in output. Economic development is the innovative process that leads towards the structural changes in the economy together with increase in output. Whereas, economic growth leads towards rise in national income and per capita income. In case of economic development, growth is necessary to achieve economic development, whereas in case of economic growth is possible without development. Economic development is applicable to developing economies and it is the solution to the problem of underdeveloped economies. Economic growth is applicable to the developed economies and it is the solution to the problems of developed economies also. Economic development is a broad concept. Economic growth is a narrow concept. Economic development is a short term process by emerging economies become advanced economies. Once the economic development is achieved, infrastructure is developed, institutional change made and country's objective is to achieve the economic growth, whereas the economic growth is a long run process. Economic development refers to increase in human capital, decrease in income inequality and structural changes that improve general population standard and quality of life. Whereas, economic growth relates to increase in one of the component of the GDP. In the GDP lecture, we learned that the equation of GDP is C plus G plus I plus NX, where C stands for the public and private consumption, G stands for the government expenditure, I stands for the investment and NX means net exports. So, it means the economic growth relates to increase in one of the component of the GDP, either increase in consumption, increase in government spending or increase in investment or increase in exports. Economic development is irreversible and deliberate process, whereas economic growth is reversible and natural process. Economic development emphasizes on the utilization of unutilized resources, whereas the economic growth focuses on the allocation of available resources. ED stands for the economic development. Under economic development, absolute poverty does not increase. EG stands for economic growth. Despite increase in economic growth, absolute poverty can increase because the output might increase due to increase in production of the manufacturing sector. The people contributes toward the manufacturing sector 20 percent and the 80 percent is a laborer. So, the increase in economic growth, absolute poverty can increase. In economic development, increase in national income is attributed to the general increase in income and support in reducing the gap between rich and poor. Whereas, in economic growth, increase in income might be due to increase in income of few people and fails to reduce the gap between rich and poor. Economic development is economic and non-economic factor, whereas economic growth is an economic factor. There are five stages of economic development according to Rostos, traditional society, precondition to take off, take off drive to maturity and age of high mass of consumption and economic development is discontinuous process, whereas economic growth is gradual, stable and continuous process. When economic growth matches with the growth of money, 
the economy will continue to grow this is the all about the economic development and economic growth difference in the previous lecture we learned in detail about economic development and economic growth and in this lecture we have looked over the genuine differences between the economic development and growth so i hope this lecture will be helpful for you so if you have any query or suggestions please let me know in comment box thanks for watching